Welcome back as we once more journey through the valley of the shadow of statistics and drink from the nectar of the gods. This exciting discussion will examine an interpretation of raw data. What if I said 150? What meaning would it have? What if I said an individual's IQ is 150? Well, that might have some meaning to you, but it would depend upon the intelligence test that the person had taken. Uh, we might have an intelligence test where average is 100. We might have an intelligence test where average is 300. If I said to you 150, there are certain things that I would need to know in order for the raw data point to have meaning. Without other information, the 150 would be meaningless. With descriptive information, and by descriptive information, I mean such things as the mean and the standard deviation, the score of 150 would, could be interpreted relative to a population or sample. Consider the following. Let us interpret 150 when mu equals 100 and sigma equals 20. We will start out with this diagram. This will become more and more familiar to you. Again, as we said before, it is a bell curve. It is a curve which represents the fact that most of the data are congregated around the mean. Down on the bottom, we have a number line, and the number line, of course, is labeled from 40 to 160, but it continues below that and above that. Now, here's the mean identified at 100 and a standard deviation of 20. In other words, 100 is the mean, 120 is one standard deviation above the mean. We add more standard deviations and we have a very good diagram which allows us to interpret the distribution of these data points. X equals 150 would occur right here. X equals 150 is above the mean and looks to me like it's about two and a half standard deviations above the mean. Now, all we did to come up with that is just eyeball it and note that here's one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and 150 is in the middle. So two and a half standard deviations above the mean. Describing 150 relative to mu and sigma is called a z-score. The z-score for 150 is equal to 2.5. Now, we have a new term to know, that of z-score. A z-score is a way of expressing the location of a datum in light of mu and sigma to allow interpretation of the datum's location in the population. Now you know all. Let's go back to this diagram. The z-score for 150 is 2.5. That means that this raw data point 150 is 2.5 standard deviations above the mean. That is really a cool definition. Now I would like to thank you very much for your support. As always, your patronage keeps my family fed. Have a good day.